It was a beautiful day in Cincinnati and a great day to head to the park. In this city, there are a lot of parks to choose from. Cincinnati has thousands of acres of parkland and a national reputation as a park-friendly city. Local 12's Joe Webb took a walk in the park today, and it was so Cincinnati. It's a sunny Good Friday, and Cincinnatians headed to the parks. The Napier clan packed a picnic basket and set up camp near Mirror Lake. It's something Diane Napier did with her parents when she was a kid. It's a good place to have. Families can get together and just relax. The boys, they can run and have fun, and they're not cooped up. See, parks have a long, rich history that dates back nearly 200 years. Shortly after it was founded, city fathers saw the need for accessible, natural space. The first park, Hyatt Park, built in 1817. And it's not only the first park, it's the only Cincinnati park, the statue of a horse and rider. By the, by the time of the Civil War, workers were already converting the near east side hills into Eden Park. Washington Park would soon follow. In 1907, though, everything was taken up a notch when Cincinnati became one of the first cities with a comprehensive park plan. Today, the Trust for Public Land says 14% of Cincinnati is parkland, nearly twice the national average. And generally what they find the top four in the country year after year are Boston, Seattle, Minneapolis, and Cincinnati. 120 parks and nature preserves over 5,000 acres is a big deal. But the size of Cincinnati parks is not its only asset. Many parks have a distinct look and feature Depression-era construction by the Works Progress Administration and Civilian Conservation Corps. Plus, there's that great Cincinnati topography. A lot of the land that was donated to us or that we bought was to protect the hillsides and take advantage of views. And I don't know any other park system that has the kind of overlooks we have and the kind of extraordinary views we have. And Cincinnatians put their parks to good use. We love our flowers, but really love our family gatherings, and especially our festivals. So many of those happen in parks. And uh, whether it's, it's a small celebration like Earth Day to, to over half a million people at Riverfest, to having walks in parks to raise money, that you keep finding yourself in a park. Generation after generation, it's hard to beat a day in the park. And Cincinnati gives you plenty to choose from. In Eden Park, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. A red hot weekend begins with